Okay, before the video, I promised a face reveal at 25,000, which I thought would take a few months, but it happened in one, so here it is. It's photos that have never been uploaded online, so you can't reverse image search my name, unfortunately, but if you recognize me, then what's up? But if not, then you'll just have to wait for a 100k identity reveal. Okay, so there was the solar eclipse that happened recently, and in the UK, it was a bit disappointing, if I'm going to be honest. We had a partial eclipse for like 5 minutes at best, so for most people it wasn't really that big of a deal, but what I did see was a whole lot of horoscope tomfoolery. A lot of people genuinely believe the moon blocking the sun temporarily will have a meaningful effect on their lives. I mean it did if you were dumb, as the google search trends for my eyes hurt coincidentally peak with the path of the solar eclipse which is just comedy gold. But anyway, I'm here to tell you that horoscopes can actually have a profound effect on your life, but not for the reason that you may think. They can't predict your behaviour or explain why you're an idiot, but they have a much more sinister effect. My conspiracy is that horoscopes and astrology is just the modern day version of ancient magic that was used to summon demons. Now bear with me, okay, this one actually has a bit of merit to it, but before we get to that, we have to explain how horoscopes work and what they are. So a horoscope is just a chart that shows the alignment of different celestial bodies when you were born and there are cut off dates for each sign with most of them starting in the middle of a month and then lasting 30 days before it's the next sign's cut off date. Astrologers are people who claim to be able to read these signs and then after taking a payment can tell you your future. So to anyone who actually believes in horoscopes, based on what you've seen of me so far, would you be able to guess what my horoscope is? I'll make it a little easier for you and whittle it down to just four choices. Am I an Aquarius, a Cancer, a Leo, or a Sagittarius? Okay, locked in your choices? Well, it's wrong because I'm actually a Scorpio. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Now, you might be thinking, oh, that's such a Scorpio thing to do. Well, I lied again. I'm actually a Virgo, so how's that for you, eh? Okay, so say if you actually believed in this thing and you went to an astrologer and paid them to read your future, this is usually the type of slop you'll get back after you tell them your sign and whatnot. Mmm, yes, I can see in the crystal ball that you have a very, insert human emotion here, and that recently, insert common life event here, oh, also it shows here that you're having trouble with, insert relationship here, and what you really need to do is, insert common advice here, and then basic hoes will be like, yes. That is so me. Well, no shit, it's so you, because it's also so everyone else. It's also used pretty commonly to skirt responsibility for one's own behaviour. Like, no, you didn't run over my dog because you're a pistachio. You're just a horrible driver. And no, you aren't acting like a pain in the ass because Mercury is in Gatorade. You just lack the ability to control your emotions. Imagine if this type of argument actually held up in court. Your Honor, the defendant couldn't have possibly skinned that family alive and worn their skins like a skin suit because her horoscope of the day was actually, you're gonna have an uneventful day. So I put it to the jury that skinning a family alive and making a skin suit is in fact eventful. Ergo, my defendant is innocent. Well, that's a pretty darned argument that you have, sir, but your defendant is still wearing the skin suit. Well, Judge, that can simply be explained by the fact that her current horoscope of the day says you will wear a skin suit. Guilty death penalty. And because horoscopes are super vague and have no unanimous consensus on behaviours, you can kind of get away with just saying anything about any of the signs. This may be harsh, but if I find out that you genuinely believe in horoscopes, then I automatically assume you're low IQ. Call me judgmental, but my judgement usually serves me right, especially in the case of horoscopes. However, if you read pessimistic horoscopes like these, then you get a pass, but it's still a very fine line that you walk. Now that we know what horoscopes are, let me just quickly prove why they're stupid. Firstly, take a look at this horoscope I found on some slop website, and take a quick glance at the supposed characteristics of each of the zodiac signs. Yeah, if you immediately couldn't tell that they were in the wrong order, and are actually meant to be ordered like this, then it kind of proves how BS it all is. Another thing is that, 
Due to the Earth's wobble as it rotates, it means that there is a bulging at the equator, so the position of the stars and the moons will never be the same unless you wait 26,000 years in which the stars realign again. Finally, the most obvious reason as to why it's dumb is that if you could determine your child's behaviours and personality purely by the date in which they were born, there would be a billion dollar birthing industry with people giving birth to dangerously underweight babies just so they can secure that Mars in Pisces. I remember speaking to someone about this a few years ago and, and then when I told them about this they were like, yeah, that's how you determine your baby's personality and it would have a significant effect. Like, oh yeah, your son was born 10 minutes too late to be a Libra and now he's a Scorpio. And because he's a Scorpio, it makes him 10 times more likely to be a serial killer. So we're going to have to do a post-birth abort. Okay, so we have established that horoscopes aren't used for fortune telling or determining characteristics of humans, but what are they used for? Well, here's my conspiracy that they're being used to summon demons slash possess people. Persian astrology is where we originally get the link between astrology and demonic forces with 12 arc demons ruling for each of the different zodiac signs. They have their own Arabic names and were sometimes worshipped in the pre-Islamic Middle East. Looking at this manuscript that depicts Persian demons, you can see different arc demons and very familiar looking animals besides them. Looking at these watercolour paintings, they are super weird. Like, the art style is very otherworldly and it's weirdly specific drawings of these demons could point to them coming from somewhere other than just the imagination of the painter. Oftentimes with magic and spells, the name of these demons and the planets, as well as numerology, were often invoked in order to summon demons or have them enact your will. So when you see people with zodiac tattoos or with pendants, etc, they're holding on to an incomplete spell, essentially. In all three Abrahamic religions, the idea of astrology and zodiacs are completely forbidden, with the practice seen as related to black magic and the works of demons. Although, in Judaism, the rise of Kabbalah in the medieval ages had them associated with power over destiny and supernatural powers despite it being strictly forbidden in Deuteronomy 30.12. Here's the source for uh, where I just got that. There's also folklore about demons in all societies, going back to the ancient Egyptians and potentially even further back, all describing black horned figures that are malevolent. Now you can explain away this commonality by claiming cultural and evolutionary processes have cultivated these fears slash stories in order to keep people from dying by venturing out at night or leaving the tribe, but I think that the similarity and description of these creatures points to something more sinister. If that is to be the case then one must wonder, why is there such a push in today's society for all this spiritual slash astrological nonsense that you see around you? Maybe demons are trying to take over the world one body at a time, but who knows. Now I'm sure that the majority of people who read horoscopes probably aren't all that serious about them, but to those who claim to be witches and whatnot, I'd err on the side of caution. I mean, I'm personally not too happy of the idea of messing around with ancient Persian demons, but that's just me. If you think you can handle them, then you're free to try your luck. But anyways, if you liked the video, consider liking and subscribing, but other than that, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.